Namaste. Today we are remembering the revolutionary who visualized the national pride, the Indian tricolor and designed it, Pingali Venkaiya. Pingali Venkaiya was an Indian freedom fighter and a Gandhian. He was the designer of the flag on which the Indian national flag was based. He was also a lecturer, author, geologist, educationalist, agriculturalist and a polyglot. At the age of 19, Venkaya had enrolled in the British Indian Army and was deployed to South Africa during the Second Boer War. During the war, when the soldiers had to salute the Union Jack, the national flag of Britain, Venkaya realized the need of having a flag for Indians. When Venkaya attended the All India Congress Committee session in 1906 in Calcutta, he was inspired to design a flag for the Indian National Congress as he opposed the idea of hoisting the British flag at Congress meeting. Various flags had been used by the members of Indian independence movement before independence was achieved in 1947. Pingali Venkaya designed the national flag and presented it to Mahatma Gandhi during his visit to Vijayawada on 1st April 1921. Venkaya's first draft of the flag was in red and green. The red representing Hindus and green the Muslims living in the country. On Gandhi's suggestion, Venkaya added a white stripe to represent all other denominations and religions present in India. While the flag was not officially adopted by the All India Congress Committee, which reordered the stripes and changed the red to orange in 1931, it came to be used across the country. Since 1921, Venkaya's flag has been used informally at all Congress meetings. The Ashoka Chakra was suggested by B. R. Ambedkar to honour the warrior-turned-pacifist Buddhist Emperor Ashoka. The chakra was modelled after the Wheel of Dharma, a religious motif from Hinduism, Jainism and especially Buddhism. The centre of the Indian flag contains the Ashoka Chakra, which has 24 spokes and is blue in colour. It is a representation of constant movement and progress. The flag was adopted in its present form during a meeting of the Constituent Assembly on July 22, 1947. Venkaya was an agriculturalist as well as an educationalist who set up an educational institution in Machlipatnam. He died in relative poverty in 1963 and was largely forgotten by society. A postage stamp was issued to commemorate him in 2009. Venkaya was also popularly nicknamed Diamond Venkaya as he was an expert in diamond mining. He was also called Patti Venkaya because he dedicated most of his time in researching about staple varieties of cotton. In 1992, the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, N.T. Rama Rao, commissioned a statue of Venkaya, one among 31 state icons, at Necklace Road in Hyderabad. In January 2015, a statue of him was unveiled by the Urban Development Minister Venkaya Naidu in the forlorn of All India Radio Building in Vijayawada. Several statues of Venkaya have been built all over Andhra Pradesh. On 26th January 2002, the Indian flag code was modified and after several years of independence, the citizens of India were finally allowed to hoist the Indian flag over their homes, offices and factories on any day and not just national days as was the case earlier. Now, Indians can proudly display the national flag anywhere and anytime as long as the provisions of the flag code are strictly followed to avoid any disrespect to the tricolour. Our nation will remember him for his valuable contribution towards our country and also as the design of the national flag.